Somebody shout hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. We are welcome to today's Tech Ambassador for um, this week. And I title for today says The Balm of Gilead. Let us pray. Our Father and our God, we thank you because you are the great physician. You are the one that can heal all manner of sins of diseases of sin sick souls of uh, every any form of problems father we thank you because you have been doing it before and you are still doing it till now glory be to your name in jesus name thank you because you are you are you are a mighty father you are the most high you are the great physician you are the balm of gilead you are the god that heal all diseases all sicknesses all problems and challenges you deal with them and you can cure them glory be to your name in jesus name as we are studying today the balm of gilead we pray oh god that you manifest yourself to us as the balm of gilead in the name of jesus thank you our father thank you our redeemer thank you our lord and our savior in jesus mighty name i have prayed amen like I said, the topic says the balm of Gilead. A test is taken from the book of Jeremiah chapter 8 verse 22. Jeremiah chapter 8 verse 22. And now we have the word from prophet Jeremiah. If you read chapter 8 verse 22, you will see that he asks three questions. And they are all simplified here. He says, is there no balm in Gilead? Is there no physician there? Why then? Is there no healing for the wound of my people? These are great questions and they all have answers. I want us to understand that there is still balm in Gilead. And this balm we are we talk about here is like an oily gum that is obtained from the Gilead region of Israel. Gilead was a part of um, the Eastern Jordan. It, it, it was used metaphorically in the Bible, and this location was used by sick people in those days. They either go to Gilead or for to get healed, or they go to Gilead to look for balm, and there they get their healing. Therefore, Gilead became a region for healing as it provides healing for the old history so today we are here to um to 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 study and to know what the balm of gilead really means the truth here is that there is still a healing balm in gilead and the balm of gilead is the church there is nothing we can do about it the church the living church, the church where Jesus resides, is still the healing balm of Gilead. I want to encourage you, if you are facing any challenges or any problem, run to Jesus. He is the altar and the finisher of our faith. And that was why the Bible says, do not forsake the gathering of the children of God. I mean the children of God. <coughs> the church should be a place where you get the healing. And that was why the Bible says the name of the Lord is a strong tower. The righteous run into it and they are saved. This balm is no longer the physical ornament from Gilead, but a person of Jesus Christ, the Son of God. He is both the balm and the great physician and he is still in gilead yes i jesus was nailed to the tree he was wounded he was pierced the blood and the water that flowed from his wounded side that is the balm you are looking for the balm you don't need to go to gilead again the balm of gilead is right there with you what you need to do is to get hold of Jesus, is to accept him into your life and tell him to use his blood 
over you. The blood is powerful. The blood is the balm of Gilead. Jesus himself is the balm of Gilead. There are other things to know about the balm. The balm is so precious. The balm is so precious. According to 1 Peter chapter 1, verse 18 to 19, the Bible says, For as much as you know that you were not redeemed with corruptible things as silver and gold from your vain conversation received by tradition from your fathers, but with the precious blood of Jesus, as of a lamp without blemish and without spot, Jesus Christ is very precious. The precious blood of Jesus is the balm of Gilead. The blood came from a lamb, Jesus the lamb, without blemish, without any spots. I want you to know that Jesus Christ is the only begotten Son of God. So precious to God, He gave Him up for us. He says, For God so loved the world, He gave His only begotten Son, that whoso believe in Him will not perish but have everlasting life. This balm is so precious. So when you apply it, have the understanding that you are applying something precious. Just like physical balm, it has, curate, it has curative ability. According to 1 John, 1 John chapter 1, verse 7, the Bible says, For if we walk in the light, he is the light. We have fellowship one with another, and the precious and the blood of Jesus Christ, his son, cleans us from all sins. Like I said, one of the work of the Balm of Gilead is that it delivers, it heals a sin sick soul. A sin sick soul. And that is what we read now. It can clean us from all sin. Which sin have dominion over you? Which sin are you struggling over? The balm of Gilead is there to deliver you. The balm is from a special tree, not from any tree. According to 1 Peter chapter 2, verse 24. 1 Peter chapter 2, verse 24. his own self bear our sin in his own body on the tree that we being dead to sin should live unto righteousness by whose stripes you are healed by whose stripes you are healed the balm is not just from any man the balm is from the only begotten son of god the balm is good for every disease and ache According to Acts chapter 10 verse 38, the Bible says how Jesus, how God anointed Jesus of Nazareth who went about doing good, healing those that were oppressed for God was with him. There is nothing the BAM cannot heal. There is nothing the BAM cannot deal with. The BAM can deal with all manners of sins, all manners of um, sicknesses, diseases. Whether physical, spiritual, emotional, it is good for every disease. Do you have any disease in your career? Is there a disease in your marriage? Is there a disease in your business? The balm of Gilead is there to help you. Call upon the balm of Gilead. Apply the balm of Gilead. Cover yourself with the balm of Gilead. The balm of Gilead is easy to use and is simple to use. You just need to apply it by faith. You just need to apply it by praying. You need to apply it in righteousness. First and foremost by cleaning yourself. And it shall be well with you. I want to make us understand that if you want to use the balm of Gilead, you need to first and foremost give your life to Christ. And that is the aspect of cleaning. Before you apply a balm, you must be clean. You need to be washed with the blood of Jesus. You need to be redeemed by the precious blood of Jesus. Are you in sicknesses? Don't go and redeem yourself with all the old traditions. Redeem yourself with the precious blood of Jesus. Redeem yourself 
with the precious blood of Jesus. Accept Jesus Christ as the Lord and Savior. Give yourself, give your life to Him, and it shall go well with you. As you give your life with Him, as you give your life to Him, cover yourself with the band. Cover yourself with the blood of Jesus. Cover yourself with the word of God. Envelope yourself with the bam. And there is nothing that will affect you. And you receive a complete and total restoration. And total healing in the name of Jesus. Let us pray. Our dear Heavenly Father, please let the bam of Gilead help every sin sick soul. Let it help every sin sick marriage, every sin sick life, career, and business in the mighty name of Jesus. Let it heal every sin sick soul. In that, every I pray, Father, as many that are ready to apply the balm of Gilead in every situation of their life, touch them, heal them in the name of Jesus. Heal me, heal my family. You, my loved ones, you, everyone that needs the bump of Gilead. Thank you because you have answered. For in Jesus' name we have prayed. Thank you for being part of Second Ambassador for today. I want to encourage you that it's high time we get close to God and to love Him more. If you want to hear more about us, subscribe to our channel, send us mail sec.ambassador at gmail.com and you can also call us or whatsapp us thank you and god bless you amen mm -hmm.